Welcome to the Tower of Jewels. This incredible piece of mastery was brought to my attention by a fellow Jonathan out there, so thank you. And I had seen this a long time ago and always kind of been very curious about it, but decided to kind of focus on it after digging a little deep and not being able to find any construction except that and any takedown videos or photos except this which doesn't look anything like it if you compare them they close they just it doesn't even make sense this doesn't look like the same building the top is as not as tiered as you will see in this next picture right here so all of it just doesn't really make sense unless they lifted out the inside or took it apart in a weird way but uh, and if they did, then that other part is like some kind of battery or something. And either way, not crafted for the fair. I don't know what they say about the plaster, but look, this. Boom. Anyone trying, this is a construction photo. The thing's already done. Just has scaffolding on it, probably to put the jewels on, which they which added to the light show, which I'll show you in a little bit. But I just wanted to examine this place and just toss out some theories, toss out some ideas, toss out some gut feelings, show you a bunch of statues, check out the art, and just do a little tour of the Tower of Jewels, because look at this stuff. They try to convince us that this stuff was created uh, for a fair, but yet it's if this were anywhere in the entire world, it would be considered a masterpiece of the ancients, and we would be blown away by it. People would be visiting it every single second of every day. It would be one of the biggest tourist attractions in America, but nope. They was just made out of plaster and they tore it down is what they want us to believe or it was built in a couple of years and torn down because it was uh, useless. But as a bunch of other people has theorized as well, I think uh, these expositions hold a lot of keys to things and they are the education of the uh, masses of the adopted ones or of the like harvested babies that seem to come out of the mid 1800s when B babies and the way people were raised like going to work at like age one week and uh, <laughs> not that but they were going to work at very young ages and doing amazingly ridiculous things and not very much care it seemed as if they were more of a uh, force like the like babies were created to be part of the workforce as rather than to be loved and cherished in a family but look at these buildings it's just absolutely remarkable that this building existed on American soil and it was around for amazing people to see and the light show that they put on it is absolutely fantastic but the true what is the true purpose of this when was this originally created because they don't show us any construction if they wanted to prove it they would and i never have seen a picture of the inside either like if you go up there never seems to be any footage and photographs of the inner realms of these a massive towers and I wish there were a lot more of those maybe there's some out there if anyone has a link let me know but this thing seems like it was something else like at one point it was even more magnificent than what we are seeing here and they just won the war or whatever they're not telling us about in the whenever a couple hundred years ago and this was one of the leftover zones that they inevitably did this with repurposed and used for education and as you'll see in some of the statues, I'm convinced that there are old statues mixed with new statues to kind of keep the flow that these were all new artists. So they definitely had certain ones that were created new. And you can see because the human form can't be matched from the Renaissance form, the giants, the massive strength the power uh, and elegance and grace of the women every single thing of the ancient sculptures is impossibly not matched beautifully by the the other modern ones that i think they snuck in but i have a feeling they kind of pick and chose what to put in this area gave certain names and meanings to different things and just kind of went with a new narrative this the fountain of youth sounds amazing and this actually might be in the base of the Tower of the Jewels or in somewhere. I'm just not exactly sure. I'd love to get a map of what it looked like. But all these things are amazingly symbolic and tell of different types of religions and different types of just histories, different stories they want us to tell, different parts of the narrative that I'm sure they were educating the people with, education building, all of that. Look at that. That looks like the Raphael's anywhere in Europe, anywhere. And with a thousand years plus of a, of a creation date or at least many hundreds of years ago the column of progress 
all these amazing things. I think this was called like the area of the universe or something like this, but this is really a cool statue. Nations of the Orient on top of basically a Champs-Élysées style arc. All the narration here, like what is this? What was that actually symbolizing? instead how was that potentially repurposed to fit the narrative of this specific exposition in good old san fran the gold rush after the gold rush i wonder what they were really rushing after was the entire city like this but look at this this place when it shines at night you'll see the video in a later or you can look it up but these things were pretty cool i bet it was pretty spectacular to witness all the different colors going off of it and they later sold these nova gems which I found was pretty interesting. They just knew gems or whatever, you know, what they were made of, probably plastic, but a different, or not plastic, but some kind of, I don't know, quartz, glass, crystal, jewel, but very interesting. There's a lot of cool things relating to the Tower of Jewels, and it's just absolutely astonishing that they did not preserve it at all. Very rarely do the powers that should never be miss a capitalization on something so massive as this. And they must have found it more valuable to a race, which I find ridiculous. Nations of the West, and this architecture is the, I believe, the new, or the later sculptures, and this is the newer sculptures. Rising Sun, it just doesn't, it looks like I'm, uh, someone trying to do what we did. And that one, again, I think that could be a... a could be a little bit of both I'm not sure I really don't know exactly but I think um, they mixed new with old and they found different things some were probably still here some were probably all over the grounds and then they pieced it together in an orchestrated way and gave credit to probably the people that orchestrated it and pieced it out and made it presentable and make follow a path you know that would make people astonished and if you combine old with new you can convince everybody that everything is new because um, you've got some amazing skill still but nothing like the old masters the old people that were almost superhuman in their skill and they have things like mother of tomorrow cleopatra different people of history that they can make uh, they can tell the stories about they can make movies about they can just now just fix the net fixate people on these different things so that they look in one part of history and they piece all their history together with these very big kind of concepts but they miss all the amazing ones that were left out and lost the american pioneer you know they include everything they teach about american history the same stuff we were taught they teach about the um, just everything the seasons in the way with a little bit of greek romanticism and renaissance style but mixed in with other stuff hiding their true intentions of a lot of things genius of invention that looks kind of old this one again looks uh, I don't know actually it could be it could, I, that looks old to me actually it looks weathered the uh, the columns everything the work itself just you would need a massive team to be able to pull this off in a couple of years this stuff again it looks weathered they cleaned it up I'm sure but still not what it used to be I think all these things were still painted a massive amounts of colors and different kinds of metals and maybe that's what the jewels were trying to uh, counteract or trying to replace was just what the old metals were the golds that were pillaged the things that reflected amazingly naturally probably with the Sun doing different things the chimes and these parts of this are still here I believe in San Francisco but end of the trail, you know, make, oh, the Oregon Trail, everyone w went in wagons over here. Meanwhile, there were people in ships and all these things, probably flying airships, probably power everywhere, steam powered everything. So many different things that they just completely erased and used these expos to tell the story, to tell the tale that they would continue for as long as they possibly could until people began to question it. And even then... Nothing's going to really happen until the Smithsonian gets um, in the Vatican and all those other places get exposed for what they truly have. Because these people are hiding history and everybody knows it or the people paying attention know it and it shouldn't. But look at the top. Beautiful. So cool. And I wonder if they have these souvenirs uh, still just kicking around. I wonder how much they sell for. But rising and setting sun... You know, very symbolic. They were getting certain psychological implants into the people with all of this imagery and connecting it all in a uh, in an entertaining type of way. 
and put all these lights out, show them new things like this, and they're going to be blown away by it forever. People, I'm sure, rem remembered these things. And that's, it looks like the one from the Chicago as well. I'm not sure why William McKinley is in it, but look at all the things they could just scratch off, recarve, maybe replaster certain things, put words into things where they weren't before, shave off, shave down certain things, blast uh, things out that they don't belong. Helios the Sun, that looks pretty old to me. And again, they, and they combine them all in ways so that it, I really think they were definitely trying to convince people, maybe definitely of the future, maybe of the present at the time, but maybe again, the people were a little smarter back then. Maybe they had ideas, you know, maybe they could also discern what was old and what was new and what was here before. And maybe they even knew, maybe it was common knowledge that, hey, we're, gonna, we're existing in this thing. They're going to take it down. The adults maybe knew one thing. The, maybe just and then the kids were told a different thing and the teenage every every age group like now you know believes a different thing you kind of you have the innocence that they're showing here in these parks and then you have the adults and the godlike beings that they're showing as well with power and that is the way it goes the world just keeps expanding from when we're a kid to everything every part of it just it is a whole nother realm every year is almost a different expanse and it's so much more miraculous than any of these tales could ever tell unless we were to get the entire picture of what all of this really is and who created it and who built it and for what purpose and what it looked like in its prime again. What did it look like in its prime? Because these are not houses. These are not like, uh, I don't know what they are. Are they, are they power plants? Are they healing centers? Are they entertainment zones are they you know i have no idea and i just really get the vibe that it's not created by uh, people i think that they would want to put those pictures all over the internet if they existed and you can't find anything and it just leads more of a shell and i love this part this is one of my favorite parts like these are absolutely colossal and if you've ever seen the movie, um, I forget what it is, by the guy who did 300, he did another movie that kind of features the Titans like this, holding up the world underneath. And it was really great. But look at, I, want, I almost want to look at every one of those beings. And that looks like the same things you'd see in Germany, in Russia. Those giant figures that are extremely strong with amazing foreheads, snakes binding their arms, but together holding up the world. Like this is insane imagery. And that was not crafted by anyone in the early 1900s absolutely not there is no way possible i fully firmly believe that so any of the people that don't show me some proof because this is it looks like there was something on top of that that could have gone on and up forever what did they get rid of? How much time did it take them to prep this and get it ready? And what did they prep it from? What was the original state? Was it partly destroyed from the battle that they're not telling us about? Where this whole place, this whole country was just something that has been completely rewritten. You know, even the Mississippi, most likely a creation. All the coastlines, most likely a creation. The Grand Canyon most likely a creation whether it's mines or the ancient trees the old trees or something totally different you know, john levy and people are finding different things in the middle of everywhere and this country could be totally populate this i absolutely refuse to believe that europe was settled the way it was with such immaculateness and nobody was able to cross the tiny atlantic ocean in the grand scheme of things to get over here and colonize like it's just absolutely an impossibility and people need to stop believing it we need to just expand our consciousness and our minds to realize that we were lied to so much and we need to figure it out those urns what is in those urns are those giants are those gods and they're just parading them around like here you know because they somebody decorated this place somebody had a massive treasure trove of things to choose from and then hired sculptors to fill in the blanks and they curated it like a giant gallery like disneyland they people designed it people picked it so people would follow a certain path like a shop 
you find you put certain things in certain zones certain areas for kids everyone you make people get a certain feeling and they get it and it sticks with them forever because you blow their minds apart and they are blown away like the first people to see a movie they're blown away by that because it's something they've never seen before these are a bunch of orphaned and possibly harvested kids the way kids seems like they were taught the way they were brought to work either so quickly the way the medical industry in the early 1900s late 1800s was just totally pummeling kids left and right you'll see a lot of cemeteries my wife is actually working on a little theory relating to this but you see cemeteries and everyone's always like oh it's because they didn't have antibiotics oh it's because uh, the young kids died because you know diseases were rampant back then and then you start to read things and get dig a little deeper and it's like no those these people probably died because the medical industry was torturing and killing them with terrible methods and or they were overworked or they were under cared for or they were like you know it's so many different stories that are possible besides the narrative that they tell you they always try to sum up old things in sentences but it's impossible you need books to figure this stuff out. You need months and months of breaking through, years of breaking through boundaries of realizations to piece this stuff together. And I think we all are. The orphan trains, all these different things, they were starting a new crop of education and it, uh, in a generation of people that they wanted to mold a certain way. And these expos were how they did it and getting rid of those buildings too, blowing their minds with these amazing things. They li it lives with them forever, these things. This history is ingrained in them, so they're gonna tell it, they're gonna continue to believe it, and then these buildings get shattered, and it, 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 they, they, they don't even really care because they got to see it, and that, that makes the memory even stronger. And they, they win, the, the, the powers that be win, because nobody nobody can see them constantly nobody can continuously question them there can't be like there's not a whole crop of people for many periods of time after 1915 that that raise a stink about hey what was going on in those expos and no, no one even thought because they were just so amazing and they continued into the 50s so you know, I wish we had them today I'd be very curious where they would be and maybe they are happening in Dubai and places like that or I thought they were actually starting one, but who knows. Again, bunch of rants, bunch of ramblings inspired by the Tower of Jewels and all the artwork and sculpture around it. Definitely let me know what you all think. Um, I've got a bunch of my thoughts on here, but look at that. That looks very old. <laughs> look at it. Absolutely amazing. And who is the sculptor of that? Do we know? They may tell us in some book, like, oh, D.B. Dalton, Papa Tapa, some nonsense, but I don't believe it. And shame on the people that destroy this stuff. The Fountain of Youth, what was that water? Where did that spring come from? Was that the Fountain of Youth? Was that the thing that uh, all the, the Spanish explorers were looking for? Was it here? Was this the, you know, the city of gold that had things all over the place and this is just the end of it this is just the finale the last neighborhood that they were ready to just ransack to oblivion and they were just like ah we'll peace we'll show you some stuff before we go court of the universe in the rising sun fountain <sighs> really just the imagery even the arms of the people different that you know that like ah, uh, that feeling it is all designed to invoke so much in the human spirit in the mind and for all different types of purposes they've been using this type of you know wielding of psychological powers through imagery and through fabricated story for so long and you know, when you look at cities like this, and this is the same as Paris looked around the time, but yet this city was like a, like less than 100 years old, supposedly, at this point. Like, give me a break. We got to start rewriting this stuff because it is nonsense. And, you know, it makes sense that the schools are teaching us absolute filth and teaching us so many lies because, yeah, they, it's the way it is, and we have to change it. We absolutely have to. Education system is a detriment to the human spirit the human mind and the human creativity and power of potential. We need to unlock the potential by digging deeper and getting closer to the realization of how awesome and perfect we truly are and were for always. And maybe we're just the pets of some giants, but who's fine. 
Let's find out the truth. Let's find out where those giants are beyond the poles. Let's make friends with them. Let's just figure it all out and unify through truth. It's a nice vision. I hope we do it. And since it's the Tower of Jewels, I just wanted to include some of these jewels, my art gems that I make. A little plug for my art. I make these at the gallery. I've sold thousands of them. They're totally unique. They come up with different, I have different artworks for each one. I sell them to stores occasionally. They come in necklaces. So if anyone knows anyone out there, any stores that may want some gems, or if any of you want any art gems, let me know. I've got millions of them. I can craft millions of them, and they're easy to ship. They're amazing for all stores. I really appreciate your support. Everyone out there, you all are incredible. I've got to make this art vision and dream a reality. You all are helping me. Bless you all. Thank you.